Hello out there, it's another episode of Table of Men. My name is Daniel Adapo and this show is put together by Mayo Entertainment Network in collaboration with the award-winning CJ Multimedia who has a CJ TV in Ghana today. Anything you want to shoot and you have equipment from CJ Multimedia, I tell you, it's going to be super duper and it's going to be amazing. Last week on this show, we we're talking about um, how funny can you be? And uh, if you're funny as a guy, does it give you an upper hand over a woman's hat? Today's own is going to be beautiful. But just watch this video. When we return, I'll introduce my guest and the topic for today. Table of Men, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Happy birthday, my oh. love. Oh, thank you. This is what I got you. Beautiful. Do you like it? I love it. Wow, I'm thank glad you. you. Oh my God, see my face. Actually, you're the best thing that has ever happened to me. Oh. Will you? Deal. Many more if you agree to marry me. Baby, please choose wisely. Remember, all that glitters are not gold. Man, they never leave. I have a bright future. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. I remember, nobody knows tomorrow. Yes! Tomorrow is Friday. Yes! 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 <laughs> oh my goodness, my goodness. This is awesome, this is awesome. You watched the video and you saw what it is. And uh, just before I introduce my guest for you today, um, this is a very beautiful stuff made by um, Moko Kobioko and his team. My guest today happened to be the very fine gentleman uh, who happens to be a comedian, MC, and uh, content creator and he's in person of Nana Osei Bonsu. But when you mention Nana Osei Bonsu, you don't get it straight. But uh, when you say Okukubioko, you get it straight. Hi, Chief, what's up? I'm good, how about you? I'm fine, thank I you. Love your suit. Thank you so much. It's by Gentleman Street, Inside nice. Kanda. They're nice. amazing, nice. they're amazing. Nice. It's good to have you here. Same here. Nice one. And then we have a very beautiful lady, gorgeous in style, happens to be one that has an ushering industry, ushering company, happens to be a model, and also happens to be a sweet journalist. Oko Kubioko, before we started, she said, no, if you are beautiful, you have to go for journalism and communication. Yes. None other than Vanessa Danso. Hi, baby. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Nice to see you here. I'm happy to be here. Nice one. And then we have also the fantastic gentleman who happens to be very renowned and famous. Um, 
happens to have style and class, happens to do a lot of philanthropic work. I know he has adapted an orphanage as well, in addition to his massive career and massive time schedule. None other than actor Prince David Osei. Hello, Chief. Hi. How are you doing, sir? Good. Uh, pleasure uh, to have me here. Nice one. Nice to see you here. Um, just a quick one. We all watched the video. What's your take on the video? Um, I mean, in the times that we are in now, um, everybody is in a great pursuit for materialism and uh, material stuff. I believe the gentleman who walked in with a beautiful painting, as he rightly said, nobody knows tomorrow. If you are going to marry someone, it's good to be, you know, to show off material things, but material things can fade. You, you look deep within the person and see if the person has the potential of, you know, becoming great someday, uh, be, you know, achieving his or her success um, story. Because if you look at material stuff, that car you saw can go in flames in a second. A car can burn. And what happens? Are you after a car or are you after the personality and where the personality is going? I always say this, you marry for where you're going, not where you are. Because where you are right now, you might not know what tomorrow holds. So if you pick any kind of woman or any kind of girl, mm -hmm. then when you get to that stage where you've got into where you are, then you look back and say, oh, no, she doesn't befit me. She's oh, not. Wow. Yeah, so you marry for where you're going, not where you so are. You, so you marry with the end in mind. Yes, like the vision. This is who I want to become. I want to become a president in the next 20 years. So I need a woman who will champion this goal. I need a woman who will help me become the first lady. Can she become the first lady? Mm. Or can he become the, the first, first gentleman? gentleman. So that's, wow. Yeah. Vanessa, your perspective. Yeah, you are the ones who accept proposals after we had, had sleepless <laughs> nights to draft a script, uh, not for acting, but just to draft the whole script that, okay, this is how I'm going to say it. This is the angle. What do you make of the, of the video? Well, my opinion isn't very far from his. I believe that in as much as material things excite us, the, what we should be looking out for should be ambition really how ambitious a guy is not how wealthy he is because i don't know i don't know how far wealth can take any woman women that are ambitious are looking for men they can go with no men that can spend on them like their entire life and have nothing else to offer that's so lame so yeah wow yeah. you are the creator of that skit yeah uh, you made a lot of stuff in it uh what what inspired you? Is it out of experience or you uh, remember your first love walking away for you because somebody bought a car? I, because I now you made it, you have a lot of cars. You have a oh. lot of stuff. You have a lot of deals. As he said, yeah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> uh, for the inspiration, I wouldn't say it was out of experience. But looking at our society right now, I, I can say most of the ladies are too much fixated on material things. Okay. Yeah, we have just a few that can... Uh, uh, I think most of the ladies uh, focus more on getting a made man instead of being made themselves. You get mm. most of the ladies we have out there now, most of them are lazy. Okay. It's either they are posting pictures on social media and looking for, praying for a rich husband to marry. Okay. So looking at all these things, I think uh, that was where I drew the inspiration to come up. But if you look at the, the concept of the video, it's a two-way thing. Okay. In as much as it is telling you not to look at material things, it is also saying as a man, you should go and hustle. Mm -hmm. You get, because no woman wants to suffer. Okay. If you even look at the Bible from the beginning, the garden was created, Adam was created, everything was set before they brought Eve. Mm. Yeah, so before you go into marriage or uh, a relationship, at least you should be a little bit comfortable. Okay. You should have what you're doing. You should be focused. You can't just be like anybody that doesn't have a goal or anything and you expect the girl to come and like be with you for the rest of her life. Nobody, no lady wants to suffer. And ladies love comfort. Wow. They love beautiful things. Beautiful things. Yeah. So. Okay. So if you just join us, uh, we just watched a video and we took um, sample opinions. Now, our topic today is how financially ready should a man be before entering a relationship? How financially ready should a man be before entering a relationship? I want to start with our pretty journalist and uh, Osha coach. Hi, Vanessa. How Hi. financially stable should a man be before approaching such gold just damn cell like you? Well, I think, first of all, it depends on the, the idea behind the relationship, if it's just for fun or it's going to lead into marriage. And then secondly, 
I, I believe that mo money isn't a prerequisite for a relationship. It only makes it beautiful, more fun, adventures and stuff like that. So, I don't know. It should, the guy should just be comfortable enough to take care of himself. He shouldn't just be in the house, jobless, lazy, looking for a woman. It doesn't work like that okay. in our current world. Yeah. I'll go to Prince. Prince, how financially stable should a man be? Um, in a relationship. Financially stable is relative. I mean, it could be somebody can have one million today. Today, yeah, yeah. you meet him today, he yeah. has one million. The next day, the one million is gone. Mm. So, in terms of financial sustainability, you have avenues. Okay, maybe he's got a job that he does. He has other side business that he does. He has other properties. Yeah. So all these things are like security. You've got land. Maybe if you are into business, you've got a bit of savings. Maybe a fixed deposit you know, here and there, and um, the foresight, there's a possibility money will be coming in every now and then based on what you do. Okay. It's not just your monthly job, because if you get fired today, then what happens? So basically, the, the money management should be such that there's always inflow of money coming in, okay. whether you're selling something, whether you're doing something on the side. So then you're a bit comfortable before you decide you want to get married, because um, in as much as it is not really the duty of a man, to take care of a woman, because I'm sure the woman also has something to do. If you're married, yeah, yeah. your wife will also be working. So mm -hmm. you guys can put your resources together yeah, and yeah. grow a family. But unfortunately for us now in this current dispensation, it doesn't work like that. Most female think it is the duty of any man. So long as you say you like it, you have to start buying a cream, mm. buying a undies, yeah, uh, yeah, lingerie, yeah. whatever. But it shouldn't be like that. Your father gave birth to you, or your mother gave birth to you, you have a duty as a woman to respect yourself, to also work. Mm -hmm. You don't sleep at home, take a picture, post on Instagram. The man goes out there to work so hard, brings the money for you. All you want, I mean, come on. That's why a lot of marriages are not working. Yeah. That's why a lot of relationships are not working. Because as soon as you tell a lady you like her, she thinks you, I mean, it's an obligation. You need to yeah. take care of her. So you feel now the relations are, are more of employment? It's of more like ATM just machine. buying and selling. What mm -hmm. are you giving me? What am I giving you? Okay, mm -hmm. you want to date me. This is what I, every week you have to give me 500 for hey. upkeep, blah, okay. blah, blah. Then the funny aspect is when you go <laughs> further to like have sex, because I have friends yeah. who told me uh, he was trying to make out with a girl he claims he's dating. Yeah. And just in the act, you know, before... The real deal. The girl was like, "Oh, tell me thousand eh? The guy said he was, he was so disappointed, and he had to just stop every like, ah, "What's going on here?" Mm. It's like, "Oh, send me tell me size car, so need be." Hey, you tell me point. thousand. That like, give me thousand. So yeah. he knows. Okay, this is the moment. I'm like, what? The guy said he just, like, he just hmm. lost the whole steam, and he just said, "Okay, no problem." He went to his car, got the thousand cities, gave to the girl, and drove off. He didn't even do anything with her. Mm. So it's like. Most relationships are money driven now. The lady's all about money. And as you saw in the video, as soon as she saw the nice uh, car, yeah. before the nice car, you know she was in tune with a yeah, guy, yeah, telling yeah. him how beautiful. So, Appreciating the so, artwork and yeah, all so that. Yeah, so to be honest, now it's about buying and selling. How much are you offering to sell and this how much I have? So it's, it's sad. Well, Oko okay. Kubioko, it's a sad story on your side. Who want to say this is put together by um, Major Entertainment Network and... Uh, CJ Multimedia now showing on CJ TV. Okokobioko, finally, before we go, a quick commercial break. Uh, what's your stand on that one? That how much okay, money uh, you should financially need? Let me you add up to what uh, my boss said. Okay. Uh, concerning how leaders in Africa mm. have uh, set their mind or their mentality. If you look at what is raining now for the ladies, it's all about yeah. getting uh, the bomb bomb bigger. Getting the, you mean the shankus, enhancement, enhancement. Those, if you are, if you go into that business yeah. now, you make lots of money because mm. that is where they channel their, mind. their minds at. How to sweetening of the bakus and all those things. <laughs> whereby, <laughs> when the man enters, you will just be donating. You mm. be donating like. Money. I hear they have they have certain concussions. Like, they have uh, things, my brother. Well, there's something when you put it, you whatever you I tell you, you do it. Uh, 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 there used to be a lady who said Mama G. Like, yeah, hell yeah. It's mm. called Beku Spices. Mm. I have a joke on that. <laughs> when you put it inside here, anything you request from the man, he'll be giving it. And to then I stand that makes the Beku so tight like uh, a, they a, have, a mouse trap. There are ladies that break their virginity every month. Ah. <laughs> yes. They put it, you sleep with them, 
virgin. Okay. Next week you come, they this virgin. Uh, uh, yeah, so the, it, it's crazy now. Okay. And uh, coming to your question, how yeah. much money should you have before yeah. you go into yeah. a relationship or yeah. marriage? I think it depends on the lady you are going in for. Okay. Because there are some ladies you shouldn't even go close to. Mm. When you look at their expenses compared to your revenue, you know that no. This is not my size. Okay. You look at a lady that have Peru, like she fix half Peruvian, half Brazilian. At some point, when she's hitting the head, you know that the two countries they fighting between them. <laughs> yeah. So when you look at such ladies, Goodness. you see the the ass alone. You know that no, this yeah. one is for ministers, mm. not for people like me. Not for ordinary citizens. Yes, you know there, there are, are some pecus that are for ministers and not ordinary citizens. For ministers alone, we'll go for, for the maintenance level. level. <laughs> we'll go for a quick commercial. Oh, when God. we come back, we'll go on that tangent again. That pecus uh, are for ministers, ministerial pecus and parliamentary pecus. Stay tuned. This is Table of Men. Stay tuned. Okay, welcome back from that quick break. This is put together by Mayor Entertainment Network and, of course, CJ TV and CJ Multimedia, where you have all the best of equipment when it comes to media, skits, videos, and everything. Okokobi, Oko, just quickly to you, um, how much money should a man have lying in his account mm. before he has the audacity, tenacity, okay. to approach a lady, lady. As and I start said a relationship? Earlier, it depends on the lady you are approaching. Okay. Yeah, so, but as for the guy, uh, how much money would depend on the job you're doing? I, Dangote, for instance, is rich. Uh, Despite is also rich, in as much as if you compare the amount in their bank accounts, mm. it is different. Mm. But you call the both of them rich, right? Mm. Yeah, so I believe it shouldn't be about the amount of money you have in your bank account. Mm. Yeah, but at least, you should be working. You should have something that provides money for you. Mm. If you are working at uh, an office, you should have other businesses. For me, I don't believe in a, a single income. I believe mm. in multiple streams of income so that your uh, expenses wouldn't be more than what you get. Exactly. So if you're able to, if you have a job you're doing that is bringing money, you, you are an ambitious person, you know what you want, you are mm. pursuing your goal, mm. Mm. why not? You can go for a well, like a lady, that is not above your your standard of living you get a lady that you know that i can take care of to an extent not adopt her as your child at least when she <laughs> needs a little for her hair you can give not the one that will say baby because we are dating come and rent house for me mm -hmm. you know most ladies now immediately you propose to them their house rent expires oh all okay of okay once you approach them my house rent my school all of a sudden mm. school fees all Africa, we are African men, we are suffering. Wow. So I don't, I don't think it, uh, it's the amount of money, but you should just be focused, you should have something doing, but it also depends on who you are going for. Okay, Vanessa, some of you ladies say um, you are naturally expensive, so men should go for what they can afford. From your perspective, how much money should I have in my account or should Prince David or Kokobioko have before we bring the application for a relationship to your jurisdiction? Well, I don't think there should be a standard amount. Okay. Like I said early on, you should have something going on for you. You shouldn't just bear dormant, literally doing nothing and then expecting to have a woman. Do you want to make her suffer? Obviously not. So you should just be, be comfortable. But, but what if you said, do you want to make her suffer? What was she doing before I met her? No, you know, there are some girls who don't even, like you said, there are some girls that are lazy now. So okay. you're going for such a lady, you're not working and no. It, it, it's just not going to work. So just be comfortable. Be working. Like, get an income. Do something. And maybe have a little to spare to surprise her or take her out just to spice the relationship out. But it shouldn't be like a standard amount. Maybe I should get like a 10K in my account before approaching a naturally expensive lady. Okay. I, I don't think that should okay. be the case. Prince, yeah. uh, what's your take on that? Uh, as I rightly said before, you should have uh, various streams of income. You shouldn't just have a huge sum lying in your bank account, but it should be in such a way that the, there's flow, inflow of cash. You are doing stuff that will earn you money. And um, as you rightly said, even though it's not your duty fully to take care of a lady, the woman you date, I mean, you should express your love through gifts and um, 
through outings and stuff like that. And those things comes with money. You need to spend money. Yeah. Okay. So you should be well to do. And um, I don't really, well, perceptions. I mean, from my perspective, I believe there's nothing like um, any woman is above your standard or whatever. Mm. It all depends on where you're going. Okay. As I already said, you marry for where you're going, not where you are. Mm. Because it will amaze you to know that woman that you think is above your standard, that she flaunts all those expensive stuff, she's lonely. Yeah. And she needs a man like you. Yeah. Mm. But because you are not bold enough to approach her, you think you need millions of citizens, it will amaze you to know the very day you open your mouth to woo her or tell her you like her, you want to be with her, she's not telling you stuff she also has oh. that can also help you. But a lot of people tend to scare away from this lady exactly. and they complain. Some of them tell me, you see, I'm very nice, I'm well to do, but men find it very difficult to, to approach, approach me. Yeah. So in as much as we have lazy women who are just waiting for you to feed them, mm. clothe them, do whatever, we, also, we have ladies who are established, yeah. who are entrepreneurs, who are just looking for a decent man, you know, to make a family with. Okay, since they've been talking to you, I think you should consider opening a hookup company where... No, no, I don't, think I, can, I don't think I can do that because they'll end up hooking me, not them. <laughs> <laughs> And they'll entangle you. That's it. There'll be an entanglement. <laughs> I don't entanglement. want that. They do think a man should have a house or a rented apartment before entering that relationship. We just before you come, we'll go for a quick commercial okay. break. So we want to go for a quick commercial break now. When we return, we want to find out, must the man have his own apartment built by himself from scratch? Or he bought the place or he should rent it before approaching a lady? This is Table of Men. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back from that quick commercial break. We're going straight to Dave to take his opinion. So, should a man build his place, rent it, or whatever, before he approaches... Well, I, I don't think um, you owning a house should be... Uh, uh, how do I put it? Should be the standard for measuring who gets married or who don't get married. There are mm. people who live in Choco. Mm. There are people who live in kiosks and they are married and they are making families. I mean, you can't determine when a child comes into this world. If God says this is the time and you have to procreate, I mean, but you need to be... How do I put it? You need to be sufficient. If you have a one room or a chamber and hall and your lady understands, knowing that you guys are growing, that's not where you're going to be forever. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are fortunate enough to have the resources to build a house, that's okay. okay. But if you don't have the resources and you are renting, you should make sure you don't rent above your means. Because if you want to stay in East Legon, it's expensive. You want to stay in Trasaco, it's expensive. And if you want to make a family, you know you won't spend all your money on um, house, rent house, and uh, whatever. So you can get a small place, manage with your wife, whilst you have the you know, vision of building a house on okay, your own. Yeah. Because if you want to tell me a man needs to get a car, a man needs to build a house before he or she gets married, it's okay. When you, when you have this stuff, it makes it very convenient. But um, at the same time, it's not necessary that you have to build a house or whatever. If you have a place of abode which is comfortable, you know your woman is going to be comfortable because you need to respect your woman. Exactly. You don't expect to get married to a woman who will take a bucket, cross the street and go and take a shower and come back. No, no, no. no. Okay. So you need to make sure it's a comfortable place for you and the woman you want to get married to whilst you chase other stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Vanessa, what's your take? I believe there should just be a place of abode. It shouldn't exactly be ownership of a house or... So I, I don't think it is necessary to own a house to be able to get married you can this if you're not wealthy enough or if you don't have the means to buy a house or build one you can just rent an apartment all in the name of comfort because you don't want to see your family like he says struggling for basic things like there are some houses with no toilet facilities and it's disturbing you don't want to see your children running around because they want to take a shower no it should just be like a place of abode where you can find basic shelter. That's it for me. Yes. Okay. Okay, could be a cool. Your take. Okay, I think I'll just add up to what mm -hmm. they both said. Uh, owning a house shouldn't be uh, like it shouldn't be something that you have to do before you go into a relationship. Because trust me, 
there are people that would own a house today. Give them like five, 10 years. Like someone you rejected would buy a house that is way better than the guy that owned the house five years ago. Mm. You get, so you just need a place that is comfortable at least so that you don't inconvenience the lady. Because uh, as I said earlier, ladies love comfort. At least you have a, uh, if it's a single room, it should be self-contained. Your kitchen, toilet should be inside. So she doesn't cross to the other side okay. to take her bath and all that. Okay. So at least get a comfortable place. Okay. Being a skit writer, what should Ghanaians expect from you next? Plus your social media handles. We're wrapping up. Okay. They should just expect something that will blow their mind away. Okay. That is what I do with my okay. skits. Yeah. And uh, uh, my social media handle, official Kokobioko, everywhere. Even spiritual, if you want to follow me, official Kokobioko. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Vanessa, your final word is on your social media handle. Um, well, I think that this generation, people say we are sick. I, I feel like we should, we should just take it slow on certain things. Like our topic for discussion yeah, today, like yeah. relationships and marriage, we should just take it slow and not be pulled into pressure to do certain things that will not favor us in the long run. Okay. So, yes. Okay. So, and social media handles, so people want to Vanessa contact you on, okay. on Instagram, Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Prince, your Hi. final words. Um, yeah, I want to tell the lovely viewers um, this show, you know. Love each other, love your neighbors yourself, and um, this is an electioneering year. I urge them to use their head, and they should understand that politicians will only come to you when they need a vote. Yeah. They will argue in parliament, they are, but they are best of friends. Yeah. Mm. So we shouldn't right. go out there and fighting fight. each other, arguing. <laughs> it's, it, no, 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 no. If you want to vote for Mr. A, go and vote for Mr. A. Sure. If you want to vote for B, go and vote for B. Sure. Devoid of chaos and pandemonium. Wow. Also, they should watch out for my new movie, The Newsman, when the uh, ban is lifted. It's going to be hitting the cinemas. It was shot in Milano, Italy, and Ghana. Wow. The second one is Dismayed As You Pray. And um, the second season and third season of African Couple will be showing on Rock GH very soon. Rock GH okay. was formerly Rock 3. We, okay. We're okay. changing it to Rock GH now. So, yeah, that's it. Yes, uh, so we have a gift from Edis Pizza. And uh, we want to just want to acknowledge CJ TV and CJ Multimedia. And of course, Gentleman Street Suits, uh, Gentleman Street Suits is the only place you have a photochromic frame and they also have another frame for your jacket free. Yes, thank you so much, Shell. Just drop it for us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's Edit Pizza for you. I want to say a big thank you to them for refreshing us. They say Tuesdays and Wednesdays, buy and get one free. But at their new branch in Hacho, they say buy and get one free every day. So dating a guy who has never bought you Edit Pizza before, ask yourself, is that a relationship? or time-wasting affair. Big thank you to Mayor Entertainment Network, CJ TV and CJ Multimedia, Gentleman Street Suits for my costume, and of course, Edis Pizza. Table of Men, follow us on social media, Table of Men underscore Tom, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Table of Men. My name is Daniel. Till we meet again, goodbye.